Hey, what's up guys? Yes, it's me. Welcome back to the IT Home Lab series for beginners, especially those of you starting your career at age 40 and old. In the last video, I explained what VirtualBox is and why it's perfect for building your first IT Home Lab. Today, we're installing VirtualBox step by step the same way I set it up when testing systems as an IT manager. This video is going to be exciting. Are you ready for this? Let's dig. Hey, what's What's up guys so welcome to the hands-on session here so first thing you want to do is download virtual box to do that uh, just open up your browser like Chrome or whatever you have and then uh, in the Google just go to the google.com and from there you're gonna search for Oracle virtual box so just type virtual box download and you'll get these results here you can just click on the first option there and right off the bat, it takes you to the download page. Um, make sure you are on the real website, not a third party download page, uh, because a safe downloading is something uh, IT professionals do every single day. So consider this your first hands on practice. Now, why do I say that? Like, so how do you know this is the official website? So if you just scroll down a little bit and look at the bottom here it says oracle right and this product is uh, owned by oracle so make sure it is oracle official oracle website that's number one and the reason i'm saying that is because there are other websites which are also offering this download for example let me show you this website here uh this right here soft tonic uh you can download from here too but guess what this is not the official website and if you download this this may come with viruses uh, malware by malware things like that so you don't you don't want anything you know uh, next thing you know it's going to want you to buy something from them or hack your, your computer getting hacked so yeah don't download anything from here let me just close this guy let's go back to the official website so always install installed always installed from the source so that being said um, let's download let's look at the download options here so on the left we have VirtualBox platform packages um, and look at the the version 7.2.4 right now since I uh, <clears throat> since I am on Windows machine I'm gonna be downloading the first one if you are on Mac um, let's see if you have an older Mac you will be going with Mac OS Intel chipset and then if you have a newer version of Mac like late you bought it latest um, Mac OS and then you'll be <clears throat> downloading Apple chipset if you bought the if you bought your Mac within the last two years there's a very good chance it's an Apple um, silicon chip um, and if it's older than that it's Intel so you should know which one is it so since I'm on uh, Windows I'm just gonna click on Windows host um, and let's see now look on the top right hand corner this is where it gets downloaded install virtual box and you'll get this warning just hit download unit um, unverified file <clears throat> and this is going to end up in your download folder so click on your download folder if you look in download folder right here the first option here just double click on it and you'll get this warning hit yes and this is where it starts the process now uh, just make sure the version is 7.2.4 um, and it's 64 bit and from here just hit next and you accept the terms and then hit next and just do do the default over here um, and just hit next uh, you will get this warning um, which is okay uh, just go ahead and hit yes uh, this base this warning basically it this allows your virtual machines to communicate with the network later on um, which you will need for your Windows Server uh, when we when we install Active Directory and when we install Linux machines, how they communicate with each other. Uh, so you're gonna need this option. So just go ahead and hit yes. Um, that's fine, just hit yes. And then you can pretty much leave the default options checked. Um, 
um, <clears throat> and just hit next and wait for the installation to uh, basically finish um, it's fairly quick it's not that big of a software uh, but it's very powerful uh, you'll be surprised things you can do here so this it install this basically installs the virtual box uh, workbench basically right um, so you hit finish to that um, and don't worry don't worry about any any pop-ups or anything in here um, it's safe uh, nothing you're doing here will harm your computer because VirtualBox is a very safe and widely used uh, by IT professionals all over the world so it is okay uh, so you, you don't have to worry about anything so hit finish and that should launch uh, VirtualBox so this is your work a virtual uh, box uh, manager or you can call it like a workbench this is where you'll be doing all your work right so <clears throat> that's part one now we there's another part that we need to download so go back to the official website and over here you notice on the right hand side it's called virtual box extension pack make sure this matches the 7.2.4 with the virtual box version which is 7.24 so both matches we're good to go and then just hit accept and download now you may ask what is extension pack um, think of extension pack as a set of extra tools for virtual box uh, by itself virtual box can run uh, virtual machines but the extension pack adds important features that make your lab um, much more flexible and powerful uh, what do i mean by that uh, for example if you want to insert a usb drive to your computer um remember virtual virtual machines are virtual right that you can't touch them you cannot insert anything so and you're creating them in your computer but in your physically on your computer you can insert a usb but how are you going to see it in a virtual machine that's when you need extension pack it lets your virtual machines connect to usb devices like flash drive thumb drives or external drives uh, just like you connect to your real computer right a, a physical real computer so that's why this is important also for remote displays when you uh, remotely connect to these machines you can view them better uh, it gives you sort of like a driver for for better display um resolution uh you can encrypt your machine by using the extension pack uh which you don't have to worry about right now but yeah encryption is another a really good security feature which we will be discussing later on uh in in these it courses so yeah a lot of um other advanced features things it professionals often use when testing and troubleshooting systems so just wanted to give you a real quick introduction about extension pack and why it's needed so let's go ahead and hit accept and download so when you do that as you see on the top right -hand corner it got it um <clears throat> downloaded just click on it and uh, you'll get this warning just hit install and you'll have to read through this nobody reads that but just scroll down and then now you can hit I, I agree right it's available so hit I, I agree and then basically it adds to your workbench um, most beginners uh, skip the extension pack uh, but installing it now will save you trouble later trust me it's free it's safe and it gives you it gives your lab the same capabilities IT professionals use every day basically so that's why um, it is very important that you download it <clears throat> so quickly um, just uh, verify just quickly overview of your uh, Oracle virtual box manager which is like your workbench this is where you'll be creating all the machines um, and uh, right here like creating new machine adding uh, you can also import a virtual machine like a file in a form of file and you can just let's say you have virtual machines on a different computer you can move those machines here 
Uh, so we, we're going to talk about everything. Um, if you click files, just want to make sure preferences. We're going to go through all these preferences, uh, make sure everything is there. Why are we getting this error message? We're going to fix this. I'm going to show you how to fix it. We'll run updates, uh, display settings and everything. We're going to fix everything. Uh, so yeah, this is very powerful. Um, see the import. So you can import machines from outside and you can also export the machine you will create here. So this is where this is where we'll be creating uh, Windows 11 machine and we will in, uh, create a Linux Ubuntu machine in here as well. And then uh, Windows Server, the most important one. So uh, and then on that Windows Server, we'll be installing Active Directory, DNS, DHCP services and all that. In Active Directory, you will have like a home Active Directory where you can practice, right? It is like an absolute essential skills nowadays for um, any entry level IT jobs. You have to know how to use Active Directory, how to create accounts and things like that, right? Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that. So now you have the workbench set up. Just think of it this way, like this outside is your main computer, right? This is your main computer. And on that computer, you installed a software called VirtualBox, which is this right here. We'll, we'll create all the machines in your lab, like hold you, everything in your lab inside VirtualBox. So your outside is safe. Anything you're doing is you're doing here, but you'll be using resources from your computer. For example, if you create a machine, you'll be using hard disks from your computer. Memory, same thing. You'll be utilizing memory from. So we're going to talk all that when we create the machine. We're, we're going to do a, a whole uh, yeah, rundown of what it, what everything is and how it, how your computer, how your virtual machines utilizes everything so yeah this is this thing is very powerful guys like i mentioned virtualization is the future it's the backbone of it right and this is your future you're gonna have to deal with virtualization going forward in it career one way or the other right doesn't matter which path you take you will have to deal with virtualization um so yeah big companies small companies they all use it this is the most basic virtualization software um, for beginners like yourself um, there are other enterprise level ones but I just didn't want to do it because it will just confuse you this is very basic this is very but it's very powerful technology you will love it you will love it and it'll save you like hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, Otherwise, you will be setting up a lab and buying hardware and this and that, um, like a switch and a router and, you know, extra monitors and things like that. No, none of that. Everything will be happening in one screen right here inside this box. And this box will be your lab, basically. Uh, all the machines will be talking to each other. Authentication will be happening. Active Directory will be running. DNS will be running. DHCP will be running. Uh, if you don't know those terms go back check my networking uh, video um so yeah so stay tuned for the next one where we will be actually creating machines and i'll show you um and guys i, I break i break them down into small chunk uh, so you guys can understand it better i could have done i could have created the machine here and explain more but it, it makes the video longer and it's just people get bored or confused and they they drop out so i just want to keep it in small chunks um and i want to ease you into virtualization world basically right because this is your future so we're going to do small chunks i'll be making lots of videos um so yeah stay tuned and i will see you in my next video take care bye 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 and that's it folks virtualbox is now installed and ready to use in the next video we'll create your first windows 11 virtual machine step by step perfect for beginners and career changers over 40. i'm breaking down this series into small and more manageable chunks so you can follow along easily and fully understand each step don't get 
bored or feel like you need to skip ahead, this is a very powerful subject and what you learn here can directly impact your future in IT. My goal here is to gently ease you into the world of virtualization, one step at a time. So stick with me and together we'll make this complex subject simple and practical guys make sure you subscribe and like this video so you don't miss the rest of the home lab series until next time take care of yourself and others around you and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye <music>